Ex Extinction Rebellion and other environmental groups have vowed more extreme protests unless the government meets their demands. During a press conference earlier today, they said that unless the government ends all funding for new fossil fuel projects, they will step up their campaigns, which would include civil disobedience. They've promised to make four days of demonstrations, which begin this Friday, the biggest climate protest ever held in the UK. Well, it comes as another group of climate protesters, Just Stop Oil, stopped the World Snooker Championships last night. They invaded the Crucible Theatre in Sheffield, one protester, uh, jumping on the table and emptying a packet of orange powder paint. A university student and a former museum worker remain in custody. However, Just Stop Oil say they won't be stopping. The disruption will continue until the government make a meaningful statement to halt any new licensing or consents for any fossil fuel exploration in the UK. And we would encourage everyone who understands how important this is to join us on a slow march from 24th of April in London. Here's our climate change and energy correspondent, Hannah Thomas-Peter, with more. It's not just Extinction Rebellion over the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday period at the end of this week. It's Greenpeace, it's Friends of the Earth, it's the PCS, Civil Services Union and a couple of hundred other organisations all coming together, which is why they're promising uh, such big numbers. But the point of it is not this time to glue themselves to things and get arrested. It's, they say, about mass peaceful protests are gathering, targeting Westminster and delivering a specific message to the government, and that is that they want an end to the approval of new oil and gas licences and the emergency creation of civil assemblies so that citizens get a fair say in tackling the climate crisis. Uh, Extinction Rebellion recently led a press conference on these four days of protests, and this is what they had to say. And the government has until 5 p.m on Monday the 24th of April to agree to enter negotiation. If we don't get a response, at 10 a.m. on Tuesday 25th of April, Extinction Rebellion will build an unprecedented coalition, stepping up our campaigns in the weeks and months ahead along three pathways. That is to picket, to stand in solidarity with the strikers, to organize locally and to disobey. The four days of the big one are not intended as public disruption. Um, this is really for gathering, coming together, getting to know one another and deliberation. So a different approach from Extinction Rebellion, gathering together this coalition, they have reassured um, the police and the, the London Marathon organisers, which is of course happening on Sunday, that this is not going to be about disruption and not about getting arrested. However, there will of course be concern that after what happened at last night's snooker and what happened a few days ago at the Grand National when activists from Animal Rising tried to disrupt that race, that there could be a real threat to one of the most important sporting events in the UK due to happen on Sunday. Former U.S.